when I say epigenetics, a lot of people go, genetics, epigenetics, they sound very similar. I go, well, they sound but the similar, but they're a revolutionary difference between them. As I mentioned, the, the genetic story is, oh, you inherited these genes, and these genes control the character of your life. You don't control the genes. You're a victim. Epi means above. So I said, well, you know, we call skin epidermis. I go, why? Well, just underneath the skin is a layer called the dermis, and the skin is just above the dermis, so it's called epidermis. Well, when I use the term epigenetics, it means control epi above the genes. Well, it turns out genes are blueprints. They make the, uh, the proteins of the body. There are 100,000 different complex molecules. Proteins are very complex. They wear out, and you have to replace them. Well, they're very complex. I say, well, how, how can you replace these complex molecules? And I say, well, genes are blueprints to make the molecule. They're absolutely what they are, a blueprint telling you how to assemble the amino acids in a sequence to make a particular protein. I go, well, that, that's really cool. I go, it's a blueprint. I go, 100%. I go, so why is that important? I say, well, go into an architect's office unless she's, she's working on a blueprint and you lean over her shoulder and you say, oh, excuse me, is, you, is your blueprint on or off? And she would look at you like, what are you talking about? It's a blueprint. There's no on and off. I go, aha, that's the issue. Genes are blueprints. They are not capable of turning themselves on and off. That is a wrong idea, fallacious science, completely wrong. Uh, and that takes away the fact that genes control you because that's when we said they did it by themselves. I go, no, they don't. They're blueprints. So the question you want to really ask, and then who's the architect that reads the blueprints? I go, ah, oh, well, that's the mind. So the mind is overriding the genes. And like an architect, the mind can change the readout of the blueprint. So all of a sudden, it says you may come with this gene, let's say a mutant gene. But the mind, since it overrides the blueprint, can correct the blueprint and make a, a healthy protein instead of a mutated protein. As a matter of fact, from most every gene blueprint, which is a whole series, it's a blueprint, uh, the mind can create up to 3,000 different versions of protein from the same blueprint based on the perception of the mind activating the readout of the blueprint. And all of a sudden it says, well, then you have unlimited capability. I go, well, that's the true story. And the, pro the problem comes from this. It's not so much that you inherited a mutant gene. The problem comes from the fact that you inherited a good gene, but your mind turned it into a mutant gene. So like 90% of cancer has no family linkage at all. It just showed up. I said, well, how does it show up? I go, it wasn't the gene. It was a program that altered a healthy gene and turned it into a mutant gene. The whole thing here that we're just getting into is very simply this. Are you a victim or are you a master? And I go, well, you're a master, but you don't know the rules. <laughs> you don't know how to play the game. Uh, and as a result, we suffer from that.